Welcome to the Mecha Graphics training video. This video demonstrates how to sort bars and series in Mecha Graphics. A useful feature of Mecha Graphics is the ability to sort your bars and series. Here's a Merameco chart. It shows the market share for various package delivery services. And you can see it's broken out by company like FedEx, UPS, DHL, as well as by region in each bar. While FedEx is number one in the Americas, there's also opportunities for it to improve in other regions like Europe or Asia Pacific. But that message isn't immediately obvious by looking at the chart. So let's use sorting to drive home the message of the chart more effectively. I double click the chart and I go to bars and series where there's a tab for sort. So on this sort tab, you see that this tab has all the sort functions for your chart, series, bars, and data rows. By default, Mecha Graphics charts are sorted in the order in which they appear in the spreadsheet, from bottom to top and left to right. We can reverse that order. So for example, we can choose to sort our series as first on top, or we can sort our bars as first on right, for example. We can also choose more data-driven options. So for example, we can choose to sort biggest segments on the bottom, or we can choose a similar option with series of widest on left or widest on right. For some charts, highest on left or highest on right is applicable, like in a stacked bar or a bar meco chart, where the height of the bar is variable. If there's a specific order that you want, you can designate that in a custom sort. So I'm just using uh, my mouse to click and drag certain series to display in a particular order. But for the purposes of this chart, I'm going to just choose biggest on bottom, and I'm going to choose widest on left. This is definitely better, but let's remember the central message of this chart. We were looking at FedEx. Perhaps I'm presenting this chart to FedEx and I want them to easily visualize how FedEx is comparing to the other markets. To really drive that point home, I'm going to do one more important thing. I'm going to ensure that for every bar, the FedEx series is always on the bottom, regardless of my predefined sort options. So it's easy to visualize how FedEx compares. So here I'm clicking on the row and I'm choosing for FedEx on the bottom. Of course, the remaining segments are still complying with my sort rules. Now we're going to do the same with bars. I click on the bars tab and then I'm going to find the row for Americas. I click that row and I'm going to choose always on left. So by defining our sort parameters as well as defining any exclusions that we want for those parameters, we are now able to communicate more effectively the message, the key message that we want to communicate with this chart. So we're going to go ahead and click off. And there's our chart. Thanks for watching this training video. For more information on Mecho Graphics, please visit our website at mechographics.com.